America. So if you follow me on TikTok, I posted a video earlier today about 2020, the LGBTQ community calling Fallon, the transgender MMA fighter, the 2020 athlete of the year, the bravest athlete of 2020. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about, Fallon was born a man, was born a male, and is transgender, and Fallon has decided that he, she, it, her, whatever her pronoun is, its pronoun is, his pronoun is, that he wants to fight MMA. But Fallon can't fight MMA against dudes. No, 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 because Fallon gets his ass kicked by dudes. So Fallon is now transgender and identifies as a woman, so he can fight MMA against females. And Fallon is beating the shit out of women. Literally beating the shit out of these women. Punishing them so badly, hurting them so badly that he is ending women MMA fighters' careers. Two, two fighters, he has ended their careers because he has beat them so severely, he has fractured their skulls, he has caused major concussions, he has given brain damage to a woman, beating women so severely they have to be helped out of the octagon by medical professional staff. And this is your 2020 bravest athlete of the year? Anybody else see what's wrong with this? This is nothing more than a dude who can't fight other dudes that's decided to fight as a chick and is beating the shit out of women. This is a dude who is literally a woman beater and we're celebrating this shit. What the fuck is wrong with this picture? And you wonder why our society is in a downward spiral. This is a glorified woman beater being put on a pedestal as a brave human for beating the shit out of women. Yeah. That's not brave. That's not even an athlete. That's a fucking trailer park piece of shit who found a way around the system to try and be awesome. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and identify as transgender female and go and fight in MMA, and I only want one fight. I want Fallon. I'm going to fuck dude up. Just saying. <laughs>